am I'm making a new plan Rearranging my life and I won't look back ever again yeah. hey, You ain't see me activated You better hope that you never see me agitated I think about my actions, plan I'm not evaluated That's how I end up on the top, man, I'm calculated My mind's a weapon, my body is the engine I'm never second guessing, I just do what I was destined Cause I feel I got the blessing, persistence and obsession That's how you keep progressing, I already learned that lesson, yeah I'm changing Right, hello. It is Thursday, the 28th. Oh, 28th? 25th. Um, not filmed a video in quite some time. Well, I have, but it's not been, been out yet. It's coming out today on Thursday. So this will be out probably next week at some point. Don't know when. Um, gonna film an, an off season, day in the life, uh, if you can count this as an off season. Um, starting prep in two weeks. So I sort of realized that now is my only chance to do this and I'm very unoriginal and run out of content ideas very quickly. Uh, sometimes I'll tick it off whilst I can. So yeah, it's quarter to eight now. I've been up since seven. Um, just showered, sorted. Alex Gammon's out because he is on stage in three days. So three days out. So he needed his send his check-in. I need to do his food from today. So I've done that. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but I showered, got up, got changed and all that. Uh, need to go and eat meal one in a moment. Uh, I'm just going to finish off Alex. I'm finish off that bit of work to make sure he's all sorted for the day. Right, if you can see, you're not going to be able to see, are you? Oh, there you go, it's focus now. So yeah, as you can see, Alex is, is on point. Um, we started carb loading, oh, I think Tuesday we lowered expenditure, uh, increased food a little bit. Wednesday we increased it a little bit more. Uh, he was still losing weight, so yeah, he was still losing weight after the Tuesday, so we increased a little bit on Wednesday. Um, and then today he's gained 0.2 pounds, so he's pretty much the same weight. So uh, we kept expenditure nice and low, just steps and 10 minutes of light cardio, so not actual cardio, just like get the body moving a bit to uh, move some food about. So we kept that in there. Um, and then we've also added in probably about 100, 150 gram more carb today. Uh, and also increased fats just to, to load up on a bit of fat. Uh, but Alex's digestion is, is a hard one to manage. He bloats and, and you know, it doesn't sit very well very quickly, despite it just being chicken, rice, rice cakes and shit like that. It's just uh, high protein, doesn't sit too well then. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, he's also got his end of year uni exams today and tomorrow. So that's been fantastic timing. Two days out from the biggest show of the year and he's got to sit in an exam hall for hours. But we just manage it the best we can. So he's all sorted for the day. Um, he's doing PTA Universe on Sunday. Uh, junior at Men's Physique, as you saw in the video that's coming out today, uh, was his last show day uh, about a week and a half ago now at the Manchester Fit Expo, where we were pretty successful. We cleared up. Um, still undefeated in junior this year, so hoping to carry that into the universe and also win the universe. Uh, that has been the, the intention from the, the start of the season, really. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Going down to Birmingham on Saturday to stay with Liam, videographer, film some more bits on Saturday in Ultimate Fitness. But for today, we'll just do a day in the life. I've got a train push at late this morning. Um, so I'm just gonna do that at my local gym. Not going to the Mecca, Ultraflex Rotherham. Just gonna do that locally because I've got quite a bit of work to do. Um, so need to eat. I've then got steps to do and I've got a consultation at I think 9.15 this morning um, for a potential new client. So we'll get that done and then we will get on with the day. I forgot to mention as well, we'll actually, on the camera today. God, my face is fat. Actually on the camera today, so quality should be a little bit better. Um, I still don't really know how to edit. Well, I know how to edit, I just don't know how to color grade things. So if this is all like really pale and washed out, that's why, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try and fix it. I'm also counting on that if I can't fix, I'm just gonna send it to, to Liam or Sam and they can fix it for me, then I'll post it. So hopefully it's sorted because it'll be good if I can actually work out how to edit on a good camera for prep because then I can do daily like daily then I can do weekly videos not daily fuck that so yeah we'll get it going but first up meal one is cream of rice yogurt whey and that's it just cream of rice and yogurt and whey how lovely <laughs> Meal one has been eaten. It was 
I mean, you've seen it. It was just trained by JP, cream rice, yogurt, and Velocity. Um, just taken my daily subs, so vital support, digest max, like all the fucking usual. Um, all of this food stuff was in my full day of eating. Like, it's actually not changed. I'm still eating the exact same food because the weight cap couldn't gain weight, so. I'm going to try and leave food out of this video. I'm not going to put too much in it, but you've seen it already. It was just the, the cream of rice. Uh, all the sups, all that food and sups were from Four Ball Sports, so Cody Eagles, get yourself nice and cheap. Uh, for now, we're going to brush my teeth, put some shoes on, and go and do like half hour, 40 minutes of steps to, to kick off the day in the, I've got a treadmill in the garage. So we'll go jump on that, and then I've got to come back inside for this, this consultation in just about an hour from now. I've got that consultation, so come back in a little bit early and uh, get everything ready for it. Well, Ronnie, might as well update you with, with where we're at and what's going on. So, we're about two, it's Thursday, so two weeks on Saturday or Sunday will be when prep starts. So about two, two and a bit weeks out from prep, uh, which is exciting. I'm absolutely dying to prep now. Literally, I'm just bored of this phase because food's not that high. I'm still doing cardio steps, like I'm not pushing. It's just pretty easy, so it's just boring. Can't gain weight, can't lose weight. Yes, I'm getting stronger, but it's just boring. So absolutely dying to start prep, which will be good. As I said, this weekend I've got the PTA Universe. Weekend after I've got another NFM show in Birmingham. So we've got back to back weekends in Birmingham coming up. And then after that, it's prep starts. So two busy weeks and then we're into prep. So that is good. On prep, these will actually be consistent. You know, I'm gonna make a, a priority this year. It's been a bit, I've been a bit lazy in the off season with it because nothing's been changing. So I feel like there's nothing to film. Obviously there is because people just want to see my normal life, which I think is boring, but obviously I like watching other people's normal lives, so it's clearly it's not boring when it's not yourself. So that's why we're doing this today. Um, and yeah, so it'll be a 12 week prep until my regional qualifier, and it'll be 14 weeks until the main show from when we start. So right now, I am literally like 14 weeks out of the first time I'm on stage this year. But you know, so it's not actually that long to be fair, which is, is quite funny to say because but it's, I've not even started, so one of them, but it's gonna be a good year. I am excited. I'm gonna finish up on here, gonna do like another 20 minutes or so, and then uh, head back upstairs and jump on this consultation call with a new client. And then for the rest of the day, I have to train. I've got a new starter to set up, a couple check-ins to do, and I need to eat and probably do some more steps. Like I might actually go outside because it's a nice day, so. Got a fairly busy day. I say busy, it's just a usual day. It literally is like what I do day to day. So I will film what I can and throw it all together. Had the consultation with Ben. He was lovely bloke getting started on Monday next week. Um, so that's all that boxed off this morning. I need to, I'm just, just before the phone call, finished my steps and was in the process of, oh, that's a great shot. Look at that. Unreal was in the process of proof watching my new YouTube video because Liam's edited it all. Um, and so he sent that over to me now. So I'm trying to proof watch it to make sure I'm not gonna get canceled for something I've said and he's not edited it out. Um, gonna start that rendering and uploading onto YouTube, schedule that for 6 p.m. tonight. Then gonna go get drinks and shit together and uh, head on to the gym to train push so I can come back and do more work later. Uh, got another, got yesterday's new starter, got to set him up today uh, and ping that over to him and then got some stuff to sort out with the t-shirts and everything like that. So you've got a bit to do, um, but this morning's consultations are boxed off. Um, I've got one check in to do as well now, before I go out as well. Uh, so I'll get those wrapped up and then we will go and get the, the intro workout and stuff mixed together and uh, head on to the gym. So I'll, yeah, I'll probably just see you at the gym. There's no point in me filming anything else now. Actually, I'll see you downstairs. I'll go and mix all my fucking shakes and shit together so you can see what I'm consuming in my Perry workout window. Crashing the pine on the marble floor Yeah, put up that sign I read love and joy Yeah, I want more, yeah, she want more All the miss ones in the flashing light We only walk into a certain song Her channel is orange, my flannel thong Come tag along, come tag along Crash, love, lost, and a man look left Tiptoe to the fan, scream, bitch Take off in the jam, skip out, crash now Gotta, got a chance, 15 on a nigga Blue man, blue man, rain 
We have made it to the gym. I've dropped my pre. So that was two scoops of DFib from HR Labs and some creatine from Conte Sports. Uh, both from Full War, Code Eagles, you know the drill. Um, intra workout is the new Train by JP Sour Cherry EAAs with some carbs in. There was carbs in both my pre and my intra, um, just because it's been a while since I ate my first meal today. Uh, just because I had a workout to do. Um, so I don't want to fucking go hypo mid, mid session. So we've, we've nailed some of that pre as well, just to tip me over. So yeah, lovely sunny day, which you can't see because you're just so overexposed. Um, about to train in the dungeon with no windows downstairs. So just, it's like Temple Gym, mate, from Dorian back in the gym, back in the day, uh, which is quite nice occasionally. And the upstairs has plenty of windows. It's a nightmare to film upstairs because there's too many windows. So we'll see how we get on. But it's a delt focus push day. Um, I rotate between doing this one here and doing it at, at Ultraflex Rotherham. So, you know, a few bits change here and there. We're also cruising before prep, so just on a bit of clean out. So strength is, I'm not weak, but it's not, you know, I'm not taking crazy progressions every session. It is a bit of a, a struggle, but it should be. So, you know, we're excited for that. Okay, so we are upstairs in stockies now. Starting with just rotator cuff work to just warm up the joint basically. So a quick one, when you're warming up rotator cuffs, a lot of people just grab dumbbells and go like this and, and like this, which is stupid. Um, now if you're here, let's just move this down. If you're doing your rotator cuff with a dumbbell here and you're going side to side, thinking that's warming up your rotator cuff, the like resistance is downwards. So if, you're, if the resistance is going down, going side to side, that's not using any resistance. So you're not warming up your rotator cuff. You're just moving it. So you may as well do it without the weight and then you feel like a fucking, a bit of anger. So if you're gonna warm up your rotator cuff, get on a cable, because now the line of resistance is going this way. So when I'm actually going out this way, there is resistance. Same for when you're here and you're coming inwards, there's resistance. With dumbbell as well, if you're doing this one with a dumbbell, like yes for this bit, and then this bit, there's going to be resistance. The minute you're here, it's vertical going down. There's no resistance. You're just holding it up then. So it's not pulling your rotator cuff. So if you are going to want your rotator cuff, basically do it intelligently. First exercise will be a uh, lying cuff lateral raise. So both together, Y raise, some people call it. Um, probably the best delt exercise you can do, in my opinion. So I'll start with that. Probably four sets, really heavy on that, uh, heavy volume. Then we'll progress into our press. Then we'll go into some chest work. Then we'll go into another lateral raise. Then a fly. And then triceps. And then finito. So we'll get cracking. Okay, set up the cuff lateral raise. I've just realized that I've absolutely fucked this. Uh, I've just got here. I've just realized my camera battery, half empty already. And I didn't bring my spare batteries. Uh, so I've got my phone. So I normally record when I'm vlogging myself. I normally record on my phone anyway. Uh, so I'll record what I can on the camera. But I think for like, the cinematics or whatever, I'll do it on my phone. Where I don't need volume, volume, sound, I'll use my phone because I've got my mic on. I've only got the mic adapter for the camera, not for the phone. So I can't even switch over to the phone when this dies, so I won't have any sound. So uh, I'm gonna record the bits that I don't need sound for on my phone. Everything else, I'll try and film in here, but then maybe limited footage because I'm an idiot basically. So sorry for that one.
I've done the top set, which you saw, then did my back off, which you didn't see because it fucking didn't record, so smashed it. I've put a, a fucking cut off t-shirt. Used to be an old coaching t-shirt. It's now the most obnoxious tank top in the world. It's very nipply, so there will be a lot of nip slips. So enjoy that. I know you all came for that. Uh, gonna move into a light fly, not really to failure. Um, just to warm my pecs up a little bit before into my press. And then my main fly variation will be like a cable fly press, more of a press, but it converges a lot and there's tension when you're converging. So I treat that as my fly on this day, but I still need to just prime my chest a little bit so that I don't cause myself any injuries. Going into the press downstairs. Um, but yeah, I'm pasty, fat, pale, covered in fucking stretch marks everywhere. So it probably isn't a great look, but I don't care because it's too hot and I'm getting frustrated because I'm so hot. So finished with the Smith press, went okay. You know, back off did two plates for 20 plus. I can't remember exactly how many it was. It was like 22, I think. Um, top set was three and a half plates, a four, six, which is a pretty big PR. So happy with that. Downstairs, well, a fly first, which I won't film to save battery. And then downstairs, for the pressing. Right, running four plates on the chest press. I've done five on it before, but it's a bit of a weird one. Hurts your shoulders getting your miles away, but there's nothing I can do about it. So yeah, just gonna do four plates, higher reps, then three plates for even higher reps, then back upstairs on the cable press. Done the flat chair. I'll call it a flat. It's a bit of a decline, but if you just set the seat dead low, it sort of becomes a flat. It's just the reason I can't go heavy on it is because it starts literally back here and it's almost on an arc, so you have to scoop it under and then you can press and without a lift off. Uh, it's very hard to get into. Uh, it's a very like it's a hammer strength knockoff basically, just not done very well. It feels lovely at the top, it converges so much, but it's just getting it off like it's a very vulnerable position. So, did four and three plates uh, for two sets. Now on the cable press, on the, the old, this is a really old school free motion machine, which I absolutely love. So three sets on here, and then we'll go into some dumbbell laterals, and then it'll be into triceps, uh, and two sets of rear delts as well. Um, Cause on my posterior day, I don't do any rear delts. I just do them on my delt focus push day, just to, cause I need to put more volume into my back on that day. So we'll get on three sets here, and then we'll crack on to some uh, lat raises. triceps using the multi-grip that one of our sent me so thanks thanks Josh love you um, it's using for triceps normally I'll do a single arm cross the body extension that's very heavy um, but with this now I can just do both arms together it's like holding a cup I put my thumbs through like this as well I effectively just have it like that so there's no I don't have to grip or anything I can just focus on hitting the triceps Right, camera's about to die, so I'm gonna wrap up the triceps, film bits of my phone, film pose on my phone, and then head home. So I will probably next catch you when I'm at home, but there'll be some dramatic B-roll of me posing and shit before we get there.
Okay, back home, got post workout, which is 150 grams of Coco Pops and two scoops of Perform Way. Um, enjoying this whilst it's still there because when Pratt comes around, Coco Pops obviously will be swapped for like cream and rice or something like that. So, yeah, last two weeks of enjoying this. Gonna nail this. The Today's YouTube video that I'm posting today has finished rendering and everything like that. So, I'm gonna write out the description uh, and do all the checks for that and everything and get that scheduled for tonight whilst I'm eating. Um, then I think I'm just going to go out for a walk whilst it's dead sunny, so it's not very exciting. Might film a bit, probably won't, but we might. Um, and go and finish off my steps, because I've still got like 5k to do, so I go for a pretty big walk this afternoon. Come back, and more work. I've got to plan some reels for Instagram slash TikTok this afternoon. I'm going to be filming on Saturday with Liam, down at Ultimate Fitness in Birmingham. So I've got those bits to do. got the new starter plan to write, and then uh, what else did I need to do? There's other bits I need to do as well that I can't remember now, but I'll get to it. So I'm going to eat this now, uh, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right, I don't know if you can see me or hear me. I can't see a fucking thing. Um, out doing steps at the minute. Walking through what is a lovely, lovely field. This is where I normally do my steps at the minute. It's like 3,000 steps if I do do like down the road, around the fucking big fuck-off field and back. So doing that, it is... Oh god, I can't hold it. It's ten to three in the afternoon, so eating two meals today. So I'm gonna do the steps now. Um, go back, pre-eat another meal about four, four thirty, uh, probably four. Um, which will be chicken and rice. I've got two meals of chicken and rice to go, and then potentially a shake. But sometimes I'm still hungry, so I just make it into an actual meal. But it would be oats if I do make it into a meal. So. Yeah, I'm going to do steps now and then head back, carry on with work for a bit, keep planning them shitty reels that I can't be asked to do. Uh, but they do well on TikTok and uh, Instagram, so need to get them done. In terms of steps, I mean, I'm still at 10,000. It's been at that the entire off-season since prep finished in December. Um, kept cardio in up until start of February, daily cardio until start of February and 10,000 steps. Then when the, the blast, the uh, off-season push-up started, we pulled cardio down to just rest days, which is where it's remained until now, uh, but still kept daily steps at 10k. So I've been doing 10k steps or higher since probably June last year now. <laughs> so just used to it. Don't actually mind, to be fair. I normally do most of them on treadmill all winter dry off, but since it's now sunny, I now get out in a cut-off t-shirt and look like a fucking prick walking around. So, but it's fine because it's a field season here. I needed to do this afternoon, uh, which were uh, I think five or six check ins and then some quicker check ins, which are just like midweek updates. So, people who are dieting, I like to do two check ins a week. So, they'll do their main one, which is uh, for the guys today, it was um, Sunday. Um, so, their, their main check in is Sunday, and then midway through the week, they'll send me photos and body weight again, um, just so we can take a quick look at things, make a few quick changes if anything's necessary. But it's more just to keep an eye to make sure we're you know, on, on the right track, keeps people more adherent as well, because we've got check-in twice a week, so something I like to do um, for, for the people that need it. Also, I've set up my new starter. He's got his uh, whole plan, He's got the whole package has gone over to him now, so that's good. Uh, it's now 10 to four, so I am gonna go cook my next meal, which is I need to cook some sushi rice, because I've already got chicken cooked, so I've got sushi, sushi rice, and chicken. Uh, 130 grams of rice, 250 grams of cooked chicken. Uh, I'm gonna cook that, eat that, and I've got another one of those later, probably about 7 p.m. ish. And then my last meal, I eat at between 8.30 and 9. It is now 10 past 5. I have eaten my meal, cooked my, my rice, uh, got my next chicken and rice ready to eat in about an hour, probably, hour and a half. Um, and then I've got one more meal after that, which is just a shake. And that's it, done for the day. That is my day. I am 
there's literally nothing else I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna wrap the video up now because I'm gonna be sat here on my laptop, just getting back to clients, doing some form videos, and then planning these reels. That is about it for the day. Uh, that is pretty much what my day to day looks like at the minute, unless it's traveling. So like tomorrow, I've got a pack because I'm going to Birmingham Saturday, Sunday. Uh, besides that, like this is what I do. Get up, steps, eat some food, do some work, gym, back, so on. So that is it, as exciting as it gets. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, what I will say as well is training programs are available, link below. Um, you can go check them out there, literally 15 quid uh, or 20 quid. One of the, I think they're 20 quid at the minute. They might be on sale for 15 quid though when this goes live. Um, so keep an eye out for that. But it's a full nine page document. You get your entire split in detail of what exercises to do. You've got options to substitute exercises if you don't have access to some of the kit. Um, so highly recommend getting on those. If you are interested in coaching, you know you've seen my last video, how about how I go about a show day with one of my clients who's, who's done very well this season. Got plenty more on stage this year, which I will keep documenting and filming. So you can see sort of the behind the scenes of that. But if you do want to get involved with the coaching, um, go to my Instagram bio and fill out the link in there and I will get in contact with you and jump on a consultation call with you like I did with uh, the client today. So if you're interested in that, let me know. That is it. That is a very exciting day in the life of my off season. Um, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, all that shit. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs>